Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are on the 15th of April 2024, and we're looking at all the new and some of the updated mods for today. And as always, all the time attacks will be down below. But yeah, starting off with, we've got an update to the Harshkvarna 266 XP. This is by Gamer HZS FSH 2.46 megabytes to download. Changelog 1.1. Add a new chainsaw Husqvarna 445 second generation. And that's what we've got here. Nice little bit of kit. So, as always, you'll find this under tools and chainsaws. And you go to the end. So, yeah, you've got your normal version there. And yeah, you got a second version over there. Can't view it or anything. But, yeah. This is more of a chainsaw that is, oh, what was it? I think it's mid 2010s, if not, yeah, if not more recent. So yeah, that is the Husqvarna 266 XP update. Next, for our NAS update, I'm gonna be looking at today. We got the feeding mix and plants M and double XL display DS power, 12.41 megabytes to download, and yeah. Change log for update 1.0.0.1. Fixing medium plants M or medium has been added. So, yeah, uh, that's what we've got here. In terms of slot camps, this is 14 slots for a console. And, yeah, like with the other variant, this is a mixer for your pig food and cow food. So that's what we've got here. In terms with total capacity, it is 100,000 litres for inputs and outputs. For your cow feed, obviously you've got your normal mixing. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so you can do hay, side and straw, with or without the mineral feed. And it's actually a one-to-one -one difference, so sound to you. For your pig foods, so for recipe one, you've got potatoes, corn, wheat and canola. And uh, for your second recipe, you've got potatoes, sorghum, barley, and soybeans. And again, this is all a one-to-one -one ratio. Personally, I'll say go with the first recipe, just because things like sorghum and soybeans are worth a lot more compared to corn and canola. Well, corn, I'll get my silage, but regardless. So, yeah, total capacity is 100,000 years for each of these. So yeah, that is the update to the Feed and Mix and Plants M and Double XL by DS Power. Now on to our new mods for today. Starting off, we've got the White Mill. This is by Death Spledge. 32.68 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9. And yeah, this is a mill that can do not just flour, but also sugar. And yeah, I do love like the model of this. It's like, very classic and traditional that you'll typically see of a what I would call a green mill net. Besides from like some of the Dutch variants you'll see, this is yeah more what I would personally see that here in the UK at least. Or at least what I've seen online. So yeah. In terms with placement, so it's under productions and go to the end. So yeah, 25 grand to play, so 25 grand for a flour mill and a sugar mill. That ain't too bad. No colour options, especially when you compare it to your base game variant. So your sugar mill, that alone is 80 grand and is huge. And I think your green mill is what, 90 grand? 96 grand, so yeah, literally about say a quarter of the size. So yeah, let's go and have a look. So yeah, terms with inputs is 50,000 years for your wheat, barley, oats and sorghum. You can also do corn flour, that is 60,000 in capacity. And you get your sugar from your sugar beet, sugar beet cut and sugar cane. One thing to note is the ratios compared to the base game variants. The wheat and barley, same recipes and that, but in terms with the cycles per month, that is 25% less. 
yeah, twenty five percent less or so. Yeah, actually no, sorry, wheat is half because that is three six hundred. I don't know, is he about 25% or so? 12 on, no, a third less. A third less for the wheat. And, yeah, about a quarter to a third so for the barley. But, yeah, in terms with oats and that, it's all exactly the same. And same with the sugar, in terms with production rates and that, is exactly the same as base game. So, creation there in wheat and barley. And normally, it will hold six pallets. And these pallets are liftable, but I do have the liftable pallets mod in enabled, so actually let's have a little quick look at that. So yep, yeah, without the liftable pallets and that, yeah, it's normal masses, so the flour is 230 kilograms and your sugar sugar is 890 kilograms, so at least I know it's compatible with the Liftable Palace mod by Yos. So yeah, that is the White Mill by Death Sledge. 32.68 made by download, and yeah, definitely something I would use on my own farm and my own Let's Play series. Next, we've got the Timbered Houses. This is by Farmer 5 Tom. 29.03 made to download. So that counts for everything is 7 and 6 with the clan stack, and yeah, essentially this is a little pack of Timbered Houses. These are purely decorative items, they do have no function in terms of sleeping or anything like that. So yeah, this is a pack of 16 buildings, 8 of these which are here are the Timbered versions, and ones we're looking at here are the plastered and yeah, overall, nice little bit of level detailing, of course, like, yeah, no function, but still. If you want to decorate your farm, or if you're a map maker and that, you can use these as an asset for maps. And all these of course, got the permission by said mod maker and that. But anyways, let's go into build mode, so, yeah, it's a decorative item, so it's under decorations and others. Go near towards the end depending on what you've got installed in that. So yeah you've got Timbered House 1 which starts off oh no sorry start with your Timbered Country House Timber House 1 Timbered House 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then yeah same as before, but a plaster version. And yet, you do have. I think it was about 20 or so colors, I think it is. Go back across. Yeah, I think about 20 or so colors. But yeah, you've got your plastered country house, plastered house 1, plastered house 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, and that is it. And yeah, turns with slot counts. It is for the timbered houses. So these ones here at the back, the country house along with the plastered. Oh, uh, just go over here. Yeah, the plastered country house that is six slots. The timber house five and six. So. This and this one here, they are six slots as well, and the rest are seven slots. For the plaster variants, the plastered house. No, sorry, plaster house five. I'm oh, sorry, timbered house five is six slots. The rest are seven. The plastered house is five and six. So these two here, they are six slots, and yet yeah, the rest are seven slots. So. Yep, little variations in details there, but overall not too bad. Nine grand to place and zero upkeep. So yeah, that is the Timbered Houses by Farmer 5 Tom. Next. We've got something quite <laughs> different indeed. So this is the Utility Markings by Squiggles. 0 0.58 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially these are a set of 
the spray paint road markings you'll see or path markings you'll see in real life and in general this will mean it will mark things like water, electricity, gas and yeah water, electricity, gas and other items and it does say all markings have no clear or level error set and have a rigid body so they can be deleted and these cost one buck dollar or euro each and yeah you'll find these under bill most so under decorations and others so there are 35 variants so obviously I don't yeah I don't do road construction or anything like that I do have some knowledge of these so in general I should get my notes up here a sec anything in red as you see here so you've got a couple of these in red and also some of these do have a nice reflections with lighting off the map so yeah but yeah the things in red is general marked as like warning or danger so things like electric power lines conduits and lighting cables so things like telegraph or electric lines and that or take on lines so yeah things like means are because i can't find a definition for that things like ctv or catv so yeah these two here they are more designated as like cape basically tv cables and that but yeah so the things in white here you see these are generally known as like still sticky note areas or areas of proposed excavation so approximate lengths directions and yeah like what's going to go there for example like gas lines water lines and all that or how long they're going to be yeah high voltage line there in red and yeah things in blue obviously they mean water so these are going to be like the end points so these two lines and a dot that's going to be your end points and the things in yellow typically these are for gas but these also can be used for oil steam petroleum or other gaseous products so yeah overall actually i do quite like these like it does add that bit of realism in terms with room markings and that so if you've got a map obviously not so much like no man's land but an actual city map and you can own like, the entire area of the map and that own the town you might be stand on the road in that and yeah get creative and yeah potentially have a bit of story 10 aspect so yeah that is the utility markings by squiggles next on to our equipment now starting off with we've got the lizard mks 8 plus this is by john way 1930 2.15 megabytes to download slot count is five goes down to one so yeah essentially this is the mks 8 trailer that we normally get with some extra items such as a additional hitch on the back optional beacons at the back which you can be seen here more base color options and more rim options 25 grand and it says yeah fill volume 8000 liters optional 2 by 4000 liters and the fill types are milk water liquid fertilizer and herbicide so you'll find this under tools and animals and uh, yeah so it comes up for me at least some of the first mods and that so yeah nk is 8 plus so yeah configuration design got standard or beacon so got that beacon on the back an extra 500 main color option so you got your base game palette along with additional black chrome and stainless steel variant then room colors same color options again so let's go with red changes rim so a bit more of a customizable especially when you compare it to yeah compared to the base game version you've even got stainless steel chrome and black and again similar for the rims no beacons no trailer hitch you know wait a minute is that a trailer hitch oh no there ain't a trailer hitch i thought that was a trailer hitch but yeah let's go into john deere set because yeah it says fill volume 
optional 2 by 4000 so that means if it doesn't say in the description I'm not sure which one it is here so yeah that one here but I'll push you out of the way so yeah we can fill up with two separate items however once you're attached the fill marker there at the bottom right there's only one. It feels like, say, two different fill types, and yeah, it'll be two. And yeah, can't fill it up at all. I'll have to go over here to our trailer net. Yeah, no, nothing's popping up or anything. That says fill. So yeah, it's only an 8,000 capacity. There ain't an option for two items for 4,000 euros each. Unless it's mistaken, must be a thing that must be missed in the modern app, but yeah, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, also you can use these as a tandem trailer setup, so yeah, I'm not good at hooking up swivel axle trailers, but I'll give it a go. Hmm. More or less done on the first attempt, so. And these do have a real weightiness to them, so of course I'm using the Unreal John Deere here, but if you've got a normal tractor in that, you will feel the weight of the item, so adjust your horsepower as required. But yeah, so put our beacons on. Yeah, nice little flashy beacon there on the back. I like how it's all hitched up, so yeah. That is the Lizard MKS 8 Plus by John Wayne 1930. Next, we've got the Class Roland 520. This is by EED123. 13.03 megabytes of download. Slot count is 10, goes down to 1. And yeah, we do have other 520 variants on the mod hub. However, this is model based on the 2021 up to current version of production cost 55 grand night horsepower working width of 2.1 meters and a working speed of 17 kilometers per hour and yet yeah, with the updated version in real life it has reinforced rollers integrated chain lubrication and the optional maximum pressure system or mps2 in the tailgate to ensure it stays out of the way so yeah You'll find this under Tools and Baders. Go towards the end, so should be one of the first ones for me at least. So yeah, 55 grand. Slot count goes down to one, and it does 125 centimeter bells. So yeah, wheel options got trailer board, standard, and white. First lines, and back to trailer board. And configuration you got the roto feet or the roto cut. So these are just simply the difference in real life variants. But besides from that, no, nothing else. So yeah, we've got the roto cut or RC version. Put a horn on there, but let's go and use this class for a class baiter. So let's go and hook this up. Like of how it looks hooking up. In terms of options, we've got unfold and fold. So, what it does is just move the wheels and out. So, actually, and how it's done so quickly, I actually like that quite a bit. So, yeah, let's take it to a field. This is a bit of a bigger swath than that than normal. But, yeah, so let's go and do some short bells. Yeah, leave automatic draw off. They unfold beater. Not too bad. Yes, put automatic draw on as well. So yeah, just continue on going along. And bail. So yeah, this is more based on for things like small farms, obviously. But yeah, in terms with the unknown speed as well, like in terms with the type when the flat goes up, 
We'll see it comes from here. Let's see where you're going. What's that about five seconds or so? Five, maybe six seconds at most. So yeah, not too swell, so let's go and drop that bell over. Turn you off and head over to your grass field. There we go. So yeah, I've got a massive swath here and that, so. Oh yeah, a whole is gonna fill up instantly, but literally. Boop. Oh, okay. Not quite instantly boop boop, but still, regardless. Love the animation. Good level of detail. Yeah, nice little bit of detail, nice little bit of kit. So yeah, that is the class Roland 520 by EED123. Next. For our final mod of the day, we've got the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack. This is by Nico Do 55 53.13 megabytes to download. Terms with slot counts, the small version is 26 slots and the larger version is 27 slots. So yeah, we've got a small version here. The 8100, so that is 8110 to 8130. And the larger variant we got over here, that is 8140 to 8160. And yeah, I think this is a bit more of a modern-ish design in terms with the manufacturing. Yeah, horsepower ranges from 135 to 200 horsepower. Made in France, got a DynaShift gearbox and a wet clutch. So that means that for... Basically got a good a bit of torque and... What's end up this actual mod view? I think that does meet the case. So, anyway, so under small tractors, you'll find the small model. 58,460 base price. In terms of configurations, we've got standard weights going up to 700, 800, 900 kilograms. Got a three point and a three point with a front PTO shaft. Back to standard. The yeah, engine types we've got the 135 horsepower variant and that can go up to 155 horsepower. Wheel brands and I do I'm not sure it's gonna be on this model here, but yeah, like some of these other models and that, like the Treadborgs and that and Michelin's got like a little spacer now, like a little spacer Yeah, that sort of joins the tire, so rather than having like a shaft or something is actually a little frame. <laughs> Nothing typically don't really see on mod hobby in that terms with how like the twins and that and like the ridiculous yeah tires are configured. Yeah and that's how it looks like normally so under BKTs. Mitas, twin wheels, twos so yeah, all different little variants and that, in terms with tyres and that. But at the end of the day, all generally does the same. First lines, back tread board. Front fenders, we've got no or yes. Got a diatonic, Coltronic, that is no or yes. So that is in the cab, I think, yeah. So in the cab here, on the, as we're looking at it now, front or back right no or yes so got a little comments thing there we'll look at it in cab cb and gps you've got cb matrix 430 trimble cb and trimble or the matrix 430 back attachers and k80 so we've got a, a trigger attach lower only yeah, all that really changes is the optional for a true hitch and, that, and where it's positioned. So, position one, position two, position, position three, which is a bit lower, and position four. Personally, I'll go with not four, three or two, or it depends on what you're using, even one in that. But yeah, I think a two or three is a good happy medium. And then also we've got the back attacher with the K80. And all it does is just adds that K80 attacher with where the ball hitches are. So, got your typical ball hitch error there. Or do have a ball hitch with different positions. 
And yeah, the positions 1, 2, 3 and 4 is the hitches as we've mentioned before. And then also you just got a normal low bar. Oh, didn't mean to go out there. Lights, we got no or yes, so additional front lights. Additional back lights, so that is on top of the fender there, you can see. And we've got additional front and back lights. So yeah, front lights, just to point them out, are above the indicators and below the mirrors. Also, you got LEDs, and these are nice. We'll look at those in a sec. Beacons, no or yes. Got left, right, left and right, or none. And with your beacon type, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to eight. Signals and horn, so you got a horn triangle at the rear. Warn signs, horns, triangle and horns, warning signs and horns, or none. Beacon strobe got no front grill, so I think that's mainly when the beacons are going off. You see that change with the front grill. So yeah, this is only I think it's more for if you're on next gen or no sorry current gen consoles, so PS5 and that, where you've got the strobe effects and that. But yeah, besides from that. That is it, and yeah. Oh yeah, also, for attacher, you've got a stool, quickie, MX, Hoyer, or none. Color options, you got red, black, a slightly different red, so a bit more of a, more of a faded, I think, if I describe it. Yeah, it looks a bit more of a faded red. White, add your construction or communal orange. And for your larger variant, so configurations and that are exactly the same. Only difference is the engine, so 160, 180, or 200 horsepower. We'll go over these again. Same with color options and that. As so, you don't appear to have a front loader option. You do, but only so that's with the Weights, yes, none, obviously yes, not with the three point, so if you want a front loader attacher, you can't have the three point linkage or front three point linkage with the P2 shaft, so yeah, we'll hop into the 8110, this is completely standard, just provides from the colour, so horn, lights, Left in case right, left, right. No, I just want the beacons and that. Nope. Actually no, I don't have beacons and that, so But yeah, we'll go to the larger variant. Where I do have the beacons. Oh no, so yeah, the shrooms and that is actually so yeah, for the front of the cab and the grills, so fair enough. But yeah, lights. And actually, I like that when you turn the LEDs on, it warms up, so it goes from like that blue to white. And you can see that when it's warmed up on the floor there. So nice bit of kit. Horn. So compare that to this. That's your base game horn. That's a better horn that is. It's got a little bit of a get up and go Nat. But yeah, this does pull quite well. In terms of the in-cab experience, overall, not too bad, no complaints. Like how it maneuvers and that, so how it stops actually quite well. So we'll see how it's changing gears overall. Not too bad, actually. I do like that. 
Also, of course, you've got the like, animation as well of changing gear shift as well. So, yeah, overall, not too bad. Love the detail in that. Things like on the windows and that. In cabin that. I do appreciate actual good level of details in the cab. So, yeah, turn everything off. Look, everything loading up there on our digital displays. So, yeah, that is the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack by Nico Do 55 And that is all of the mods in that for today. So, yeah, very short one that. Six or so new mods. Yeah, six new mods. And yeah, along with the two updates I thought was worthy looking at. And as always, if you enjoy my mod reviews, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.